Hey guys, it's Kylie. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my fun videos. Uh, today we are doing a tutorial on how to get this uh, eyeshadow look. We skip all the foundation, get straight into the eyeshadow so it doesn't take a super long time, and this is probably my fastest tutorial to date. So if you were interested in seeing this look, let's get started. Okay, I like to try to start with one eye done just so I know one what I'm doing and two it just goes faster. To start off we are going to be using a Sephora ombre crayon color shadow thing. It's a shadow and an eyeliner. I just picked it up from Sephora. I got this one and another color, a bright pink. They were on sale for seven dollars and as you can see I swatched a bunch of stuff so uh, it looked fun, so I got this one and a pink one. Pretty cheap for an eyeliner, and they're so smooth and creamy. So, so far, I really like it, and I really think I should have picked up more colors. This blue here especially, that one is still there, and I think I'm going to go back and get it. I am putting this all over the lid and taking it up basically in into my crease. I'm not really going above my crease, but... I want to make sure my crease is covered and all the way in the inner corner as well. Now I wanted at first this color to be basically the main the main color and then do like a cut crease or something like that but then after using it I think it's so creamy that if I just left it here I'm afraid that why do I, my nose always itches when I start recording, but I'm afraid that if I left it with just this on it, it would get creasy, and I'll have to try it out sometime, but I like the way the whole look turned out with topping stuff on it anyways. Okay, hopefully you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, so next I'm going in with the Morphe X James Charles palette. I'm taking the Luxie 121, what is this, a mini tapered brush, and then I'm gonna go into the bright green shade, which is a social blade, and I'm going to put that all in the crease. Actually, you know what? I did something before that. I'm gonna take this brush first. This is a Crown Royal. It is just a fluffy packing brush. It's not super packy. Um, I'm going to pack that all over the lid. Now this was not my original tension. I wanted to keep that really bright color, but like I said, plans changed. So I'm keeping that more on the outside, just packing it all over there because I'm going to go in with some yellow towards the inner corner. So then I will take the Luxie one two one mini tapered brush and then I'm going to go in the crease and blend that out all the way towards the inner corner. I don't take it up super high, but these colors blend really well. This green shade blends really well with that um, crayon stick, so it, it's really nice. And I'm just making sure too, as I go, I am making sure the lid is covered as well, all except for the very inner corner. I think we're looking pretty even so far. So then next, I'm going to take the Luxie M141. This is the mini round. And I'm going to dip into the yellow shade, which is B. And I'm going to start in the inner corner and just place that in there. And then start to bring it in towards the middle of the lid. bringing the shade all the way up to the crease as well. I'm sure there's better brushes meant for this, but this is what's clean and it works. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and just make sure everything is blended together in the crease. And I'm gonna also take some yellow, the B shade on there, and then go in the inner corner with that just to make sure everything is blended here because I can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right here there it looks like um, you can tell where the cream is at. So I just want to make sure it's blended and there's no gross lines like that. Then I'm going to take the, the Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade Whirlpool and I'm going to line my bottom waterline. These eyeliners are $25. 
but this is the most amazing um, eyeliner I have ever had which that's not saying much because I haven't had a whole lot of colored eyeliner but I love it it's so creamy it just like it doesn't tug at your waterline at all which is really nice and that's that's about it I know you're not supposed to pull down on your eye when you apply eyeliner but it's really hard for me to do it so this is also a twist up instead of having to sharpen it so I, I love that then I'm going to take the Morphe M431. We are going to dip into the shade Playground, bright blue shade. And I am going to smudge this in the waterline just to make sure that the waterline is blended out and not so harsh. I feel like this side is more blue than this side, but I did blend some green in it. Um, then I'm gonna also take this up into the um, outer corner of the green as well and I'm just really keeping it in the outer corner I'm not taking it too far in at all and this is kind of creating a little bit of a darker green shade so it's not as stark blue as this but it blends in really well with those upper colors and that's about it for that then I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy brush again make sure these are all blended and then going back into the Social Blade shade, I'm going to run that under my waterline as well and bring down that shade decently far to blend the blue out just a little more, smoke it out a little more, and blend it up into the outer corner. I'm using the shame brush that I used with Playground and I'm taking the ring light and face shade just kind of going into both of them and then I'm placing that in the inner corner a little bit under the lower lash line as well just to add brightness under there and then I'm also going to highlight my brow bone with that And there we have it. I do not know what lashes I am wearing today, so I am so sorry. I know for sure they came in a boxy charm. No, wait, did they? I am 99% sure these came in a boxy charm because that's pretty much where I get all my lashes from. So I just don't know exactly which ones these are. All right, I'll pop these on and then I'll be right back. Okay, my lashes on. I usually coat my lashes first and then do add the falsies, but we're switching it up today. And I still have yet to buy another mascara. I really need to. I'm just holding out, hoping for BoxyCharm to send me another one again. It looks to me like this under eye is a little bit greener than this eye, so I'm gonna go back in with the shade Social Blade, run that under the lash line again just real quick. there and then I think we are done p.s. if you are curious about my lipstick I'm wearing it is by Mac in the shade honey love it is a matte lipstick but I did apply a just a clear lip gloss over it but this is my all-time favorite lipstick and the lip liner that goes perfectly with it is subculture also by Mac so my favorite Alrighty, that is it for today. It was super fast, super fun. I like doing simple looks like this, but that are bold and out there and different. Um, this I would totally wear out. It's like I said, it's it's different, but it is definitely wearable, I think. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this with all the color, and we will just see you in the next one. Bye.